what's up you guys welcome back to another youtube tutorial in today's youtube video i'm gonna be going through how to add back the headlight beams and how to add a little bit more flare uh to the tail lights um there are two methods to do it uh both of them are easy it just depends on um how fast you want to get the edit done so i'm going to show you both of them so right now i have the image opened up that i did in the past and if i turn off the top layer which is the the headlights so as you can see if i turn it off there's no head uh headlight beam and also the red blur light blur on the tail lights so if i turn it back on so as you, as you can see the difference um yeah so what you want to do is basically do your basic color correction um anything uh you want to cr uh, correct the image and then this is the last step that i did um so this is so this was my final image that i came up with and then uh from here i added the headlight and the tail light so what do you want to do is the method one is to do is go to google uh, i already have the google open and just uh, search for he headlight beam png and make sure the image image that you get is um with a black background because when you go uh copy and paste it into the photoshop it's easier to blend in with the blend modes that they have in uh, photoshop so i'm gonna try to pick similar beam that i did uh did before so copy it copy image and then go back to photoshop and then you just want to paste it so command v on your keyboard or if you're on mac is command v for paste and i believe it's uh, control v on a pc so as you can see uh image is pasted and it automatically puts it in a new layer so you don't have to worry about making a new layer and then uh, yeah so what do you want to do next is basically resize resize the image um to make it your personal preference so, so like how big the beam you want it to so if you hit command t on a mac it's gonna bring up the transform tool uh if you don't have or if you there's another way to get the transformer tool is basically if you go up to the menu go to the edit go transform and uh this should be called scale so you can either do that so the shortcut is command t and uh <clears throat> if you just grab one of the corners it's gonna make it bigger and then if you hover over your mouse at one of the corner it's gonna give you uh, a curvy arrow so that means you can click on it and you can rotate the image so what i'm trying to do is basically align one of these headlight close closer to where my headlight would be so what do you want to basically do is also turn down the opacity so you can see how far or where you're placing the beam so i turn the opacity down to 69 percent and um, i'm gonna make the beam just a little bit more bigger and then i'm gonna place it and then yeah so i'm gonna hit enter and if you turn your brightness opacity up again that's what you'll see to blend them the reason <clears throat> the reason you want to get a image from Google images with the black background is when you have the layer selected and if you go to your blending modes which is right next to the opacity go ahead and hit normal or click on the arrow if you just go through each blending mode you'll see it changes um most of the time i use screen so like any black color it'll just automatically delete um and anything uh lighter color it'll keep so as you can see if i move the image you can still see just 
a slight part part of the car but mostly it's white color so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place it right there and another thing that I like to do is make a new layer um, quickly if you hit command delete it's gonna turn that into a black color so I just have a layer on top so what I do is basically I hit E on my keyboard which brings out the eraser what you wanna do is basically delete uh, erase one of the beam because you're gonna be copying one that beam and then making a separate copy so you can have two headlight um, so I'm gonna do that quickly just make sure your opacity is all the way up and just go ahead and just delete it um, make sure you also delete the car uh, I'm gonna think that should be good enough uh, I'm gonna make, make the smaller turn on the layer from here what I do is I basically while holding Z on the keyboard is gonna zoom in and what I do is basically also erase uh, anything before the edge of the uh, fender because the headlight is obviously behind the fender um, so again it depends on what perspective um, on the perspective of the car that you took the photo of so go to zoom out as you can see it looks pretty good um, to make the eraser smaller or bigger you can just go to this arrow at the top and you can just make the size smaller what I use is basically uh, brackets uh, on the keyboard that's how I do the make the size of the eraser bigger and smaller so I'm gonna go ahead and do this quick and go ahead and zoom out as you can see it looks pretty good so as you can see if I turn it off without the headlight beam with without with again you can for tutorial sake I'm just doing this faster but um, when you're doing it you can just go more in detail go around all the edges of the car and um, yeah and then second thing I want to show you guys is how to add the reflection of the tail lights um, what do you want to go ahead and make a new layer and then you want to go up to um, it's called elliptical tool or hit M on the keyboard and you're just gonna make a circle uh, kind of like a circle will resemble a little bit of the headlight size you want to go ahead and go to edit fill drop down from the menu to color and go ahead and pick just a black color from the headlight uh, from the eyedrop uh, eyedropper tool hit ok <coughs> and then hit command D to deselect and you're gonna do the same thing go up to make sure you have the layer selected go up to filters blur Gaussian blur and from here you can just um, make sure from here you can play around how much uh, blur you want in the headlight so as you can see that solid color is basically spreading all over and uh, the more radius you have the more blow up or more higher it's gonna go so I'm gonna have it around again I'm gonna have this at around 170 and then hit OK and then what do you want to do is bit while holding option click and drag for the second headlight and also I'm gonna do command T to resize the passenger side because that side is farther from us uh, than the driver side and another thing I do is basically to get the reflection on the ground of the headlight is basically do the same thing grab the the, uh, the headlight command T to uh, transform it and then I'm gonna just make it as flat as possible like that while holding command on the keyboard um, 
and then I'm gonna turn it just a tad bit and then make sure it's just like right under the headlight and then I'm gonna hit enter and I'm also gonna drop the opacity of this to around drop this around 75 and you wanna copy and basically drag it again to the other side for the passenger side make that one a little bit more smaller and then you can also with the arrows you can push in it and then yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and combine the headlight the floor the Gaussian blur merge layers and then I'm gonna go ahead and merge the just the tail lights and and what I'm another thing I'm gonna do is before I go ahead and finish this video or finish this edit select the layer the layer the lights are on the ground I'm gonna go ahead and add more Gaussian blur to it uh, right now it's just too harsh so I'm gonna add let's see add about about 70 or so so yeah so as you can see we added the headlight you can do that with either searching for Google images with the black background and go in with the blend mode go to screen and play around how you want the light to be um, facing and uh, same thing with the tail lights tail lights is just basically make a elliptical uh, circle apply the color to it go to filter blur and Gaussian blur and go ahead and spread apart the color or make it blurry and then uh, go ahead and play around with that so this is the headlight and this is the tail light and then this is the lights under the tail light so it's kind of reflecting a little bit of that color onto the ground itself too so yeah so hopefully go ahead and turn this on so hopefully you guys enjoyed that tutorial a um, bunch of people were, uh, were asking me how do how do I add the light effect to uh, image um, so yeah and hopefully this helped you um, big time so if you guys make sure to like subscribe my youtube channel uh, I'll be posting more videos about my car and more edits in the future um, if you haven't followed followed me on instagram at krox underscore gt350 also at uh, my designing so i also do uh, design business card logos whatever um, so follow that page at krox underscore designs uh, catch you guys on the next one and um, hopefully you guys like this edit and uh, try it yourself and also tag me in the photos if you applied this added to any any of the photos that you guys did so yeah so catch you guys in the next one